Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another episode of Broom and Build. Today, I don't know, I was just wanting to check this place out. We haven't been down here in a little bit and uh, I wanted to see what it was like, see if there's any ooh, bad guys. There's a whole lot of skeletons that which actually fits. Hey jerk. Fits this place pretty well considering that, you know, considering that it's a it's a a, a crypt catacomb sort of place a lot of skeletons lots of zombies and i'm really pleased that there are any creepers i am going to warn you that it is early in the morning and i am going to be yawning and i am sorry so i will try and cut those out as to not make you guys catch the yawn but today what we're going to do in this episode is quite a bit of work um so last episode we built up the uh well we built didn't build up i guess we planned out in a creative version of this world we planned out some things and i've gone ahead and built them all back up and done a little bit more especially to this one this one's gotten a lot of the uh the old treatment but it uh i'm trying to make it look more structured on the top and then more cliffy on the bottom and overall, I think it looks pretty good. I'm trying to go with this andesite thing that we've got going um, on this side of the temple. And I think it looks fairly decent. Basically, what I've done to achieve this look a little bit and make it look a little nicer than like if it was lined up with things is I've made it made sure that every single one of these andesite pillars, um, the bottom block does uh, like does not line up except for apparently that one. It doesn't line up like that. Um, and most of them don't. I guess I need to go through and change that. But um, I've built up all the platforms, uh, except I added one as well. Um, and I got to tell you, building those things in creative, far easier than building them in survival. I guess they weren't hard in survival by any stretch of the imagination, but... The thing that made them interesting is I was trying to go block for block and then I just kind of gave up. So they're a little different. Um, and there's a whole lot of stone that is in that because I decided what I was going to do first to make things a little easier is I built a wall all the way down. And then I started building out the cliff, trying to emulate what was going on here. I'm going to go back through and put some grass and coarse dirt and stuff um, all on top of all of this to make it look a little bit more natural. And then some cobblestone leaves and stuff. Um, but I think it's pretty good. And then uh, I don't know how, to, how I should do this. I guess I'll show you the smaller one first uh, because I've been building some buildings. So I... Uh, asked in the Discord uh, yesterday or two days ago, I asked what type of, I guess, videos do you guys prefer? Do you prefer when a Minecrafter builds a lot on camera or do you prefer when there is a lot of progression made in the episode? Um, because these next couple episodes, I'm going to try and focus on the ladder and make more progression. This episode might be a little, little strange, but I'm going to try and do that. Um, because we're getting close to being done with this area, quite honestly. I mean, we really don't have a ton left. We'll have the fields over here. Uh, we've got that field over there. And then we just have these plateaus and the keep. And these plateaus really are not much of anything because they are just this town, but a little more dense. Um, so it's not actually near as much as what you would think. Um, and so I'm going to be building a lot of the town. As you can see, I've already built something. Uh, I'm going to be building a lot of the town off camera. Um, we'll be doing some of the main buildings, um, like we're going to have an inn and then maybe a couple other store type things that'll go on this bigger plateau. Um, but most of the houses are going to be fairly similar um, and easy to build like these. So it's not going to be anything that is too crazy. But as you can see, I have gone ahead and done some stuff. 
And I'm really liking how these houses are turning out. So I tried to go for a, uh, these are a little, I don't want to say run down, um, but they're all stone and they're not two story and they're not like fancy or anything. And so I tried to make a little bit more fancy of a house that is also two story and uses uh, some nicer materials. Um, and so I made made a connecting pathway. And what's nice about this is you can actually run all the way up if you like hit it right. Um, and so I, I like doing that. But I went ahead and built these three, I think, are basically done. Um, and then I've built the facades of these two. And um so some of the blocks that we are using i mean on the top you can see there is spruce and then that is dark oak logs um, i thought that our spruce and dark oak looks best together and then down here we have uh, i believe it's just called smooth stone um, which currently i do unless there's some other recipe you can't get it in uh survival um which is kind of crappy, but I think in 1.14 you will get it. So I added a data pack recipe to give you this. And let's see, do I have any stone on me? I have smooth stone on me. I don't see any stone. Yeah. So basically all you have to do with smooth stone is let's just take dirt. So you take smooth stone, you make slabs. And then with the slabs... Uh, do we not have any slabs? Ugh. Don't have any slabs. There we go. Then with the slabs, you go like that, and that makes one smooth stone. So you don't lose any sort of blocks at all. It's just basically two, two recipes to be able to get it from being a stone to a smooth stone. It's a little annoying to do, but it's not that bad. Um, but I really like the cleanness of it and what it looks like on the bottom. And so I've already planned out how these houses are going to lay. Um, and this is kind of the look that we're going to go for. It's going to be much tighter, and it's going to be a uh, just an overall a tighter place. And these are kind of interesting because I've been working with trying to make them uh, have some sort of yard of some sort. And so this one has the biggest yard by far, um, and this is not big by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but what I've done is I've just connected them. The insides are going to be really tight. Um, and there's going to have to be a staircase that goes up as well. So there's, or ladders, I suppose. Um, but I wanted to make them have some sort of backyard, some sort of thing that makes this one worth more than this one. Like this one, zero yard at all. But this one, if we can get over to it, yeah. This one has also a small, tiny yard. And while it's not much of anything, it increases the um, value of the property. These two, no yard at all because they're built right along the path and right along each other and up against a cliff. Um, this one probably won't have anything either, and neither will this one. But this one's going to be a little bit bigger, and so this one will be a little bit more. Um, I and originally what we had done um, this plateau we did not plan this out at all um, and the shape of this one actually was the easiest to get down in survival because I had already planned it out um, when we did the carrot carrot place that's over here um, I had already planned it out uh, I had some stuff down here and just planned it all out and actually went around a bit. We aren't we're always over here, so I get you guys may not have actually picked up on that. But um, one thing I did notice that's weird: a part of our wall is gone, like a chunk of our wall just gone. So that's a little terrifying. <laughs> I don't know why, but this wall used to go back a block and then connect to that, and so it's like one chunk just reset. It's a little, it's a little scary. Um, so I don't know what to do about that. I mean, I'm just going to rebuild the wall, obviously, but 
It's a little creepy. So yeah, this is what we're gonna be doing today and then maybe a little bit more up there. Um, I'm gonna build these up. I'll build one on camera with you just so you can see exactly how I go about building them. Um, and then, yeah, and then I'll, I'll do some of the uh, decorations and stuff. Ah, I might save that for off camera so we can actually work our way up here. Because up here, I've laid some grass as to where I want the path to be. And then up here is a nice, big, flat, open area. And so I've also added a third plateau, which is a smaller one, which will be a private one for the king. Um, and what I'm thinking is the path will come up here, and so there's going to be like maybe an inn over here, and then the town is going to mainly just be like an arc that stretches around. Um, and so the path is going to kind of wind its way like in an ar a thin arch here. Um, and then we're going to have a house that is facing in right here. Not facing in, but like facing this way. Um, and it's going to line up with this wall because there's going to be a path that we have to build up that wraps up and around and connects to like right there because then we can wrap it around and it can go smoothly up to that point. Um, which we can uh, take a look-see at. Can we land on the end rod? No, not at all. Oh, gosh. Um, so you can kind of see what it looks like now. So the path is going to wrap up here, and then this is pretty smooth. We can uh, either continue to wrap it and go this way, but this gets very, very flat, so we could wrap up and then like kind of smooth our way around and I think that would be good. I don't like it when when I'm speaking and I whistle. That's weird. Um, but yeah, so the path will wrap here and then it'll wrap up and then the keep will be, you will somehow connect it, make some sort of connecting point. But I want the keep to be kind of like, this is like the entrance here. It's going to be off center and it's going to be like a, a crookedy keep tower thingamajig. Um, and what I want this place to be is like a private terrace almost for the king um, that he can kind of sit here and he can look out. I mean, he can see most of his land um, and he can just kind of look out. And if he needs to address the people, we can have a place where he can address them right here. Um, and so I thought that was kind of a cool this place looks pretty cool um from far away because you've got the three plateaus um and it looks even better when there's actually houses and stuff up there so yeah all right i'm gonna stop blabbing i'm gonna get some materials uh together sleep the night away go get some coffee try and wake up a little bit and then i will be back with you um with some a building all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna build up this one i think on a camera um, and it's pretty simple, honestly. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, we just go one, two, three, four. And do we have stairs? Don't have stairs. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll make a few stairs because we'll go like this, go like this, go like this, boop, boop, and stairs. Very good. Now we have stairs. Um, so what we do is I've been mixing in. I haven't actually been mixing cobblestone in. But it's really a good idea, I think. Let's get the spoon out of here. I still need to rename my things. Um, see, the issue is we need to have a middle piece here because I want this to be our little uh, kind of the turn-in stairs on the side. I think that looks very, very nice. Um, and then we don't need the... Well, we'll probably need the axe. But that's okay. But it is, uh, it's pretty nice. Um, they're pretty easy to build. I'm actually going to build this up too while we're at it. Go there. Um, and then some andesite, maybe some stone. Do two stones. And then we can do andesite here, broken. And then we are good there. And then what we could do is do andesite. cobblestone smooth stone trying to mix it up so that nothing really lines up uh, the only ones that I do double of is stone um, and I'm finding that I really like stone as like a filler 
I think it looks pretty good as a filler. Um, and then what we do is we build this up and it's pretty simple, honestly. Um, I have been putting a variety of blocks up here, like maybe this time we'll do cobblestone. Uh, I've been yeah doing a variety of blocks. This one actually needs to be smooth stone. Um, and just because it gives a little bit of a different look when you look up there, like that's andesite. I think I've done andesite on a lot of these. That one's smooth stone. This one is cobblestone. It gives a, just a, a little detail, but not a ton. Um, and then to make this even more fun, a couple stairs makes it a little rounder, and I think it looks good. Now, the sides here are not terribly hard what i've been doing to try and make them a little bit more interesting is i've been trying to i guess we need to wrap this all the way around um i guess we can go there there and there um i've been adding uh this actually doesn't need blocks so we'll just put um do we not have any stone? Uh, stone. Just put stone here because we're never going to see that stuff. So what I've been doing to try and make these more interesting is I've been adding these jut outs. And the, the reason is we've got this corner right here. And what we need to do is this has to go up another four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four. And then it becomes a part of the roof. And so uh, what I've been trying to do is this going all straight up and leaving flat is a little odd. This looks all right because this wall is bigger. But when it's just one pillar, I thought it looked a little funny. So I added this second supporting structure for the end cap of the roof here and added some walls. And I think it looks overall pretty decent. We could have maybe a patio thingy just like this um, on this one. But... Um, what we're doing here is we're just going to be making this um, cobble. And then it's very, very simple. The roof is very, 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 very simple. Um, it's just like what we've done uh, down there. I tried to make these look as close to what they actually are down uh, in the poorer section um, as what we've got going Um I don't know what I want to use. Do I want to, let's just use smooth stone, I think. Um, and yeah, this is, this is the basic concept of them. And then on this end cap here, we add our little weird horn things. And yeah, then they all suddenly look like they're a part of the same place. Now, the walls here, I kept on this portion right here. And so let's go ahead and we can go ahead and do that and just throw some of this here. Going to have to grab some more dark oak, but that's okay. Stone stairs just to make them stick out a little bit more. And then uh, this and this and this. And then we need one up there, which is okay. We will just grab that there, there, there. And then... Apparently, we're going to fall all the way down. It's not what we wanted, but you know what? It's okay. And then we're going to be stupid and miss it. So then we're just going to place this, add a stair there, and boom. The front facade is done. And that's, that's essentially how you make it. Now, if you want to have the side pieces here, you can. I don't know if we want to do that. Yeah, because then it'll look good with this. So what we'll do is I think you go we'll go up four. Just do this, that, and then need some and a site. Do this and then now this could be a little tricky because we're gonna have a supporting piece here, but nothing here because because of this being the way it is. Now nah, we could do this. Um, no, we don't want that. Uh, so we'll want brick, uh, cobble, andesite, stone. Yeah. Okay.
So then, and then, oh, we forgot the little roof caps. A little roof cap there is all good. Now, we just need to put some walls here, and then everything's looking pretty good. So this one's going to be a little wacky because we have this building impeding upon it, but I don't think it looks too shabby myself. And yeah, so this is how you build them, and then you get on top of the place, and you get this out of there, and then you're going to... Let's do this while we're at it, and then this is here so we're gonna want um let's line it with andesite this time so this is what i was talking about with making these you make take stone make these stone slabs and then you put them together like that and they'll make smooth stone um, and if i remember hopefully i do i'll try and remember to release the texture pack or texture pack the data pack um to be able to let you have that um if i hopefully i remember um i will definitely try my best all right so i stopped rambling and just got to building some and i have built up all the walls of all the houses uh in this area and i think it's gonna be very nice it's starting to really feel like a town um and what i wanted to do now is the roof just so you can get a quick glimpse as to how the roof is done it is not difficult at all literally just stairs going up in a uh, triangle and it's yeah this is all that the the roof is um and they all should be interconnected um do you got how do you guys say roof do you say roof like like kind of like a dog or do you say roof because i think I just typically say roof and leave it be. <laughs> um, oh, this one's going to be a... Sure, we can do that. Like that. Uh, it's a little funkalicious. But what's this going to be if I do that? Um, no, that should be... Eh, let's just do stone here. This will probably be better that way. Yeah, I think that'll be just better. Um, yeah, I just say roof. I'm not really sure why or where that came from, but it's just kind of how my... I think that's just how I heard. I've heard it, this roof. Um, this is annoying because I keep falling off. It's making me annoyed. And let's see, what else do we need? Oh, we can't do that. Gosh. Uh, let's see. Let us see. Because this is going to get a little weird. So we're going to have to go here. Um, how is this going to work? This. And then stairs go down to here, technically. So this all actually has to come up by one. I think think what in the world what is happening here all right i think i figured it out so this actually needs to go down a half a slab and it, then it should look all right hopefully i think that'll look okay Yes, that looks fine. No one is going to be up here to see this. So we're going to do that just to make it look okay. We had to do the same thing here just to make it look like it was flush. And I keep falling off, which is kind of frustrating because I just want to be able to get this done because I'm starting to get low on time because I have to leave in like 15 minutes or so. All right, so that is done. I got a little bit interrupted by my sister. Um, that was pretty funny. She had no idea that I was recording, so she just walked out in the playroom and was like, uh, and the playroom is where it's like the, the kid's zone. Oh, I forgot that. Um, and it was just kind of funny. Um, so we have completed this area, and I am very happy with what it has turned out to be. Let's take a little flyby because I think that's a good way to view it. Yeah. Okay, 
So you can come around here and we'll just uh, stop off on the temple to take a look-see uh, right here. Yeah, I am a fan of how what this has turned out to be. I really like that. I really like having some houses on some upper levels and they're going to be up there and it's just going to look like a nice town. And I think that it's going to be quite nice. Oh yeah. Yeah, it looks like the town is expanding and has gone up. And then if we come down here and actually go up, yeah, I like what this looks like. I like what the feel is. And eventually, just imagine the pathway actually being done and having a little bit of street decoration and stuff. I think that is going to be good. Um, but that is going to have to do it for this episode. I definitely need to go to work. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so I am going to end it off here, guys. If you like the video, feel free to leave a like in real life. And if you uh, are okay with the whole super fast expansion type of thing. Now, I'm not going to do anything crazy. I'm not going to go and be like, oh, I built a keep. No, I'm not going to do that. But I want to go faster for sure um, than what we are currently. Um, so let me know what your thoughts are on that if you're okay with it. Um, and I will try and fit them accordingly. I think this town area is going to go pretty dang fast. I'm probably going to do all the like street decoration and stuff and like what we did with the market and stuff, but to a lesser extent up here. Um, and yeah, it's going to just go fast. So I'm going to try and do that, all that stuff off camera make it real speedy. Um, so we can get to the keep and get done with this area because I really would like to move on. I had this expansion idea and now it's kind of like, oy, we have a good amount to do. But I think it's going to be good. I think the area is going to look pretty cool. This area up here is going to be nice. It's going to be done. It's going to be good. Um, but yeah, like I said, that's going to do it for this episode. If you guys like it, leave a like in real life. And if you... Uh, are new to the channel or you uh, have come here before but you have yet yet to subscribe and you like what you see feel free to leave a like in real life and uh, join the little family we've got going here and I will see you guys in the next episode